are home care workers. We fight for quality home care services for seniors and people with disabilities and for good union jobs for workers so we can care for our families. This is a profession that needs to be respected, that needs to be paid. The gift of taking care of people, mm -hmm. it should be rewarded. We need benefits. We're underpaid, underrespected, and mistreated in some types of ways. Home care workers have like 15 jobs. I do home care, I do Amazon, I do DoorDash. Tengo que trabajar los siete días de 12 horas para poder cubrir todos los gastos. Así que el sueldo que nos están pagando no corresponde a lo que nosotros estamos trabajando. I can't even afford to get sick. I cannot afford to go to the doctor. It's time for a union. Having a union will give all home care workers across this country the security that they need to understand I can have some uh, health insurance, I can have dental insurance, I can have a living wage. I was raised in a union home, and I saw the things that they fought for that we even have today, like a 40-hour week or time and a half. Union jobs are more secure, and I just want to be part of a union. I really do. For years, we rallied, marched, and spoke up. We are not appreciated like we're supposed to. And we're not going to stop! And we're not backing down. 800,000 home care workers have already won life-changing raises and benefits. We won't stop until all home care workers are respected, protected, and paid. That's why we're ready to hit the streets, knock on doors, and elect leaders that support us and a better home care system. We wanted to make sure that everybody's out voting, spread the word, get as many as you can. Y las personas que estuvimos visitando nos recibieron también, nos tiramos fotos excelente. We are not going to stop until we win unions for all. That's why we are registering to vote. We are making a plan to vote early and we are getting ready to elect progressive champions up and down the ballot in November who are going to stand with us to ensure unions for all. Our elected officials need to have the backs of workers. That's right. It's time for it to be a change. And, it, and it's up to us, it's up to us to vote and get all our family friends, get your friends, give them a ride, whoever needs a ride. Let's get to the polls and vote. There's people that died so that we could vote. We, we fought so hard for voting rights, why not use them? You can change how they treat us. You can change that we have no benefits, that we have no livable wage. That's what the voting right is for. You must get to the poll. Because our demands are clear and we are focused on making sure we are respected, we are protected, and we are paid. Thank you so much for who you are, what you do, and let's go get it done.